All right, folks, today I am exploring new grounds once again. Uh, the goal for the day is to try three new spots, but I may only have time to do two of them. But my plans are as follows. This is number one, spot number one, which is the St. Francis River at the town of Fisk, called Fisk Access. Uh, the river's really low right now, and what this is is just a bridge that goes over the highway and it creates a scour hole down here below me. It's a real big pothole, it's real calm, and it's full of tons of trees uh, in the water. And it looks like a really potential good spot for flathead catfish. But also right here where you park looks really good for white bass because there is a shoal uh, where, the, where the rock pilings are. Uh, comes down and it's got a, a ford right here and uh, with a rapid right below it so we'll try it first and then when she gets back she's going to the gas station right down the road first and then she's going to come back and then so i'm going to try this spot for a little while and then i'm going to go down and continue to fish the big it's a big real deep calm hole and it's real round it looks like it has a lot of potential for uh big flatheads and, and channel cats so uh, but for right now, I'm just going to throw a twister tail out and try to get me a white bass for a little while. And then we're going to try catfishing it here in about a half an hour or so. Uh, my number two spot is called Crowley's Ridge Conservation Area, which supposedly consists of, uh, I believe it was either six or ten ponds that are stocked. I think it said six of them are stocked annually with channel catfish and they also have you know bass and bluegills so I'm gonna try that a little bit uh, out of all of them I probably won't stay at that one very long and the third and final spot I hope to hit around five in the afternoon till dark is called Aquila conservation area and, and what Aquila is it is the old river for the Castor River that was cut off after they built the diversion channel at Cape Girardeau it is the old Castor River that used to once flow through and, uh, and now it goes into the Little the River, river drainage. Uh, it starts over by the town of Delta, Missouri and continues all the way to a few miles above the town of Sykeston and uh, from there it enters the Little River drainage. And uh, basically it's like a swamp with cypress trees and stuff and it looks really good for crappie. All right, let's try to get something here, folks. Even though the water's low, it's still dingy. I hope this white twister tail is the right color. I may have to switch to chartreuse or something. Second catfish. It's a little better. Right when a train went by, he's still small, but it's way better than the little four incher I had earlier. This one's actually about 10 or 11 inches. She was out there way out in the deep water where I got hung up early. Reeled in as fast as you can and keep it up. Keep it up off that bottom so you don't get in a snag. I think she's got a, I don't know. We don't know what it is. It don't look real bad. Ah, uh, it's a little channel cat again. It's bigger than my first one, but smaller than my second one. He's about eight inches. I got one on this one right now. I got a bite. 
Oh yeah, I definitely got a bite. That's three catfish for us. And a bass, it wasn't a total loss. They're just small. You've got a pot belly though. Pliers. It's not a, it's not totally pathetic. Wait a minute, let me see that. That's a blue cat. Yes. Yeah, see, channel cuts have the spots. I can tell by the fin. I'll show you how you can tell a blue cat. Their fin on their bottom, it runs all the way from their butt all the way to the tail. See on the bottom? I didn't think there was blue cats in here. That is a blue cat. Yes. Huh. Hey, that's good. I had no idea blue cats were in this river. I've never seen any pictures or anybody talk about them. Yeah, hold on, I got two bites going on at once. Wow, blue cats and flathead. Blue cats, their fin right here goes all the way from their butt all the way to their tail. A channel cat, it don't, it has a little one that just sticks out. That is a blue cat. Now, that's no doubt in my mind, I can tell by their body shape too. They got a bigger head. head. Channel cat have like a real bony head that sticks out, kind of has hard spots on it. And they always have freckles. When they're five pounds, six pounds and under, they got freckles. Blue cat don't, they're more of a bluish gray color. That's your first blue cat. That's what we was trying to get at the Mississippi River. Good job, new kind for you. Your very first blue cat. Well now that pumps me up a little bit. Just knowing they're in here, it's kind of a good thing. You know, they got flatheads, blues, and channels. Third spot I claimed on exploring today. We had to skip Crowley's Ridge Conservation Area, which was the second spot we were going to go to due to time, because we uh, caught the blue cat at St. Francis, and uh, I had never caught one in there before, so it kind of kept us there a lot longer than I thought, because I thought we'd do really good. We are now at the third spot, actually our second spot, but it was going to be third. This is Aquila Conservation Area. And like I said before, this is the old Castor River before it was cut off by the Diversion Channel back in 1919, 1916, whatever it was. Um, and basically it's just a swamp. It's very shallow. I would say at the deepest, the deepest spot in it is probably going to be two and a half to three foot deep. So I'm amazed that crappie can even survive in these things that they do. Just by looking at it, I would guess that's got bullheads, bowfin, bluegill, very small largemouth, crappie, and uh, according to the website it has carp and buffalo, but I haven't seen them yet. Uh, it doesn't look real, real promising, but I am just trying to learn new places. And, you know, it's amazing how many places are within an hour drive of where I live is there just literally hundreds that I've explored. Uh, just this year alone I've probably discovered 100 new places. I still got about 15 to 20 of them I got to mark off my list. Uh, a few of them being northeast Arkansas, like the Strawberry River and White River down there at Batesville. Sets of dams down there. A lot of uh, ditches and stuff I haven't tried yet. Still got several places I'm trying to discover and uh, just got them written down and slowly getting them knocked off and uh, once I find one that's really good uh, I'll keep coming back to that same spot. <clears throat>
right now, for right now, we are perp I am purposely fishing for crappie here. I don't really care about anything else. Uh, it has a really weird smell out here, We're way out in the middle of nowhere. It has like a rotten wheat smell. I don't know if it's from the farms nearby or what. Very fertile water, I can tell that. Very stagnant and very fertile. It has a really strong smell to it because of the farms nearby. Huh. It's Yeah, it's a swamp. This is the old Castor River before it got cut off by the block hole. If, the, if they wouldn't have ever made the block hole, this would have been the Castor River. And then it goes into the little river drains there above Sykeston. And then down into Arkansas, but this is the old. I have seen a few dirt spots where the fish have swam off. It's real muddy water, but I, you can see when a fish takes off swimming, you can see little mud, mud area. We have to be very careful. We're gonna get hung up a lot because it's so shallow. The water's only this deep, but there'll be crappie in it. Okay, I want you get on that end. All right, folks, spot number three, Aquila was a fluke. Uh, the deepest spot in this thing is four foot deep. It just don't seem to have much activity. We saw a few fish jump. I don't know what they were. Probably gar or both in. We've seen a channel cat come to the top of the water and swim along the top. He was just about six or seven inches long. I had one bite that never hooked itself. Uh, I just don't see it being any good. There's no there was a few tupelo trees, cypress trees, whatever you want to call them, on the side of the water, but not none of them were in the middle. They were all too far off to the side, like you see over here, to where they weren't, the trunks weren't in the water, so they didn't provide any crappie cover. Uh, just, there's too much uh, stuff to get hung on, just a lot of small branches that are falling off the tree from above. There ain't nothing that really looks promising to me. I went way down, away from the car. And it's a pretty little place. It's kind of neat, but to me it just seems too shallow to hold any real big fish. I'm not going to rule it out, but I'm probably not going to come back here for a while. This looks like it has a real low population and it's just so shallow I don't see how they would survive. There went something real big again. See the dirt? Probably gar, gar carp. And then we're a turtle. But uh, like I said, this is one of the places I had to mark off my list. And what sucks when you do this and then you realize how bad it sucks is there was a place right on the way here that was gonna be my number two spot and I chose this over that one. If we would've went there, we would've had 10 ponds to feed from. Six of them, they stock catfish every year. Probably could have at least caught some big largemouth and a couple channel cats and bluegill or whatever. You never know, it could have even had crappie, but I had to pick the bad one. So, you know, I'm never coming back there, I don't think. So, all in all, this was a bad day. Caught Three little tiny catfish and one spotted bass. But we tried and we explored two new places. One of them that we'll definitely go back to. Oh no, it wasn't a total loss. I gained one new spot that I like for catfishing. I discovered there's blue cats in there and she got to catch her first blue cat ever, so it wasn't a terrible day. But in the middle of September, I should have chose something else. A little warm today. If it would have been a lot cooler, I would have went walleye fishing or crappie. Fishing somewhere where I knew they would be at.